As Hurricane Katrina, the most destructive storm in U.S. history, unleashed its fury on the Gulf Coast, Dr. Lori Gage was vacationing a world away, photographing humpback whales near the South Pacific island of Tonga. Back on the Gulf, a 40-foot storm surge had overtaken a Mississippi aquarium. And now, its eight dolphins were believed lost at sea. In the aftermath of Katrina, people thought the worst, judging from the twisted debris that once housed the dolphins. Dr. Gage, a marine mammal expert based in California, canceled her vacation and immediately flew back to the United States. No one knew if the dolphins were alive or dead. But Dr. Gage, one of thousands of veterinarians working for the United States Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, commonly known as APHIS, was on the case. Now, you won't see much of Dr. Gage in these photos. She's the woman in the blue shirt and black shorts with her back to the camera. But that's typical of an APHIS vet. Their work is behind the scenes, but vital. Twelve long and fitful days later, success. The dolphins, all of which had injuries when they were washed out of their pool, had been found. So here she is, one of the many dedicated veterinarians and civil servants who make APHIS the second largest employer of veterinarians worldwide. I um, was raised in a, in a rural area. Uh, I've uh, been around animals all my life. I like working with animals and uh, I like science. The veterinary profession seemed to be the logical choice. Charged with safeguarding American agriculture, APHIS veterinarians carry out an historic mission that demands work as vital as the animals and resources they protect and as diverse as the public they serve. You can jump in the truck and go to the farm or you can spend a day in the office if you needed to. We're able to go to the farm, work with producers, and do a lot of hands-on work with livestock. Work with cattle, sheep, goats, chickens, horses, you name it, pretty much everything. And it's the variety that I love, and the flexibility. One of the things I really find rewarding about my job is that I, I move from subject to subject a lot. And so I never get bored uh, with this job because of the the so many different things that I deal with on a daily basis. More and more, it's a mission demanding that veterinarians and others take into account the many ways diseases travel and the far-reaching impacts they have. One Health is um, a multidisciplinary approach to dealing with diseases that can cross between uh, animals and humans or the environment. Surveillance is integral to maintaining the health of U.S. livestock, whether it's testing for age-old diseases that have long been a public concern, or making sure a new or emerging foreign animal disease is detected early if it enters the United States. APHIS veterinarians employ state-of-the-art diagnostics in national laboratories in Ames, Iowa, and on Plum Island, New York, with testing capacity boosted by approved state laboratories across the country. Well, by far, the greatest learning experience I've ever had, and I would think that would be for any veterinarian, is Plum Island. Uh, this is a program where you are visiting Plum Island for several weeks, and that is where you learn firsthand of exotic and foreign animal diseases. It's by far unmatched where a veterinarian could get that kind of exposure and, uh, and training. APHIS veterinarians also regulate veterinary vaccines and other biologics. Whether emergencies are related to foreign animal disease incursions or natural disasters, APHIS veterinarians lead exercises, communicate with counterparts across government and other sectors, and stand ready. Emergency management is a partnership approach to coordinate with state, local, military, and industry partners to leverage resources and keep U.S. livestock safe. APHIS is an emergency and response 
organization. It's, I, I like to call it as a preparedness and emergency response organization. It's, uh, its job, its mission is to be prepared to respond to protect uh, the national herd, the livestock. Food and Ag is a critical infrastructure. And those critical infrastructures work together. They require all of the critical infrastructure to be up and running for them to run. As global travel and trade opportunities increase, APHIS veterinarians join international animal health partners in monitoring disease situations worldwide to determine what animals and animal products can and can't come into the country. APHIS vets also facilitate the export of U.S. animals and animal products. Many private practice veterinarians across the country are accredited by APHIS to help carry out U.S. animal health programs and services. At U.S. ports of entry and beyond, APHIS's work is critical in a world where disease recognizes no geographic boundary. The great learning experience on the job, uh, hands-on in, in dealing with horses. We get all types of horses and just making sure that they're maintained free of disease, that if they're sick, that we're able to immediately spot these signs and symptoms. And it also goes too for the exotic birds. Birds are very delicate and, and here they stay with us for 30 days. And you know, we have to make sure that they leave here alive, but at the same time, they are free from avian influenza in Newcastle. We, at the import center, we uh, test and quarantine uh, imported hoofstock and birds that come into the country. A lot of horses and some birds, and then we also have some other species come occasionally. We have sheep, goats, swine. So what we do is keep them there in quarantine and, and perform tests and before we release them into the general population of the U.S. Some days bring the unexpected. See, one time I remember uh, Pan Am called us when Pan Am was in operation. Uh, they were carrying um, tigers from an African countries, and one tiger got loose in the plane. So we had to go and somehow other uh, control the tiger and put him back in the crate. Uh, they opened the door and we saw the tiger sitting on top of one of the crates. So we had to call uh, Bronx Zoo. They came in and they controlled the tiger, put him back in the crate. I think that was uh, pretty exciting. APHIS veterinarians serve critical roles in U.S. policymaking, drafting regulations, briefing U.S. lawmakers, and testifying on Capitol Hill about matters crucial to animal and human health. With a big picture constantly in mind, unconventional approaches are often required. We work very closely with the states and their authority, but disease doesn't pay any attention to boundaries. I think we're looking more and more today and over time we've transitioned to do more of what we refer to as zoning or regionalization. To the constantly evolving field of veterinary medicine and public health, some bring a rich family legacy. In uh, 1930, my grandfather was the first person isolating Brucella militensis from blood of a, of a young girl of 11 years old. APHIS is also responsible for administering two federal laws that require the humane treatment of animals. The Horse Protection Act outlaws the use of horses in shows, sales, exhibitions, or auctions if the animals have been subjected to the inhumane practice of soaring. Under the Animal Welfare Act, APHIS registers research facilities and licenses exhibitors and others that meet the law's provisions. Today I'm doing an inspection um, of exhibitors who hold the license with animal care and I'm inspecting for compliance and adherence to the rules and regulations under the Animal Welfare Act. APHIS inspectors assess important factors in the animal's care, including veterinary care, diet and food storage, and housing. I've always focused my career on animal welfare, and this particular job is an extension of that. People don't understand that, that animal welfare is animal health. And we are animal health agency, animal welfare health agency. And welfare is a very, very critical component of that health issue. 
From fields to emergency operation centers, laboratories to the nation's capital, and well beyond, the vital veterinarians of APHIS bring diverse backgrounds and experiences to the agency and know that when it comes to protecting American agriculture, their work is never done. I love that passion. I love that um, professionalism that we have here. And so I think that's probably my number one uh, reason why it's very interesting for me to work here. I love animal agriculture. And so as a civil servant and assisting in that area is really what kind of drives me to continue to do what we do. It's really important to me. Both of my parents were civil servants and I thought I would never uh, become a federal employee. But as I work and and developed in my career, I found the work that I do for American agriculture is very rewarding. I love what I do. I love being a civil servant. I am actually a little speck of what the APHIS mission is all about. I'm part of that big team that we're here to protect the agriculture. I think that is the coolest thing that we can do.